The NBA trade deadline is over. Myself, Tom Downey, and my boy Will Scott were live for the entirety of the trade deadline. Something like five hours live, or in the words of Mitchell Renz, we were live for 25 hours in a day, which doesn't make any sense there. A mailbag now coming up, answering all your questions from the live show, the, the wrap-up version. From Aldo, honestly, just because Miami didn't make any moves does not mean they will be bad. They have Bam, Jimmy, Oladipo, he's, if he's healthy, Hero, some emerging awesome young players, some sleepers, maybe. Are you on board with that one, Will, with Miami not being bad this year? No, they're not bad. Um, there's no question about that. And they're actually starting to play really good basketball as of late. I think they've won seven or eight of their last ten games. So they're starting to play better, Aldo. But I think they need to be more aggressive the deadline to Six be a legit seed right now. contender in the East. That would be my thought. There's a big gap from the uh, games behind between the five and the seven. Yeah. With the Heat there at nine. But the, the Nets are part of that. They could still be a top five seed. They could be. Can they get to four? I'm not so sure. From Digested Raptor 6, Bucks Dark Horse winner. As in trade deadline winner and loser, for, forgetting Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder's a really sure. solid pickup. Now, it, how soon is he going to be ready to contribute in a big way? He hasn't played mm -hmm. all year. Yeah. Maybe sooner rather than later. We'll see. I think he fits what the Bucks like to do on offense and on defense, frankly. Yeah. Um, it's an upgrade, but are they better than Boston? Maybe. No. It depends on, it depends, uh, honestly. How far will Giannis carry them? Now, the Bucks how far have won eight straight games. So nine of they're one in the last ten. They're on they're on fire right now. They're a game and a half back of that coveted one seed in the Eastern Conference. From Travis Doily, having has Detroit made any moves today slash reaction to their moves? Well, they got James Wiseman. Got James Wiseman. You got James Wiseman giving up Sadiq Bay. We'll see. I mean, we're talking about this as it went down. How does James Wiseman kind of fit? With some of those other guys, Jalen Duran, Jalen Duran, Isaiah Stewart, we'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, but James Wiseman could be a really pleasant surprise in Detroit. You know, I they, hope we, he is. We could look back a year from now and went, "Wow, they got James Wiseman," or they went, "Why did they trade for James Wiseman?" Like, I, feel like I feel like there's, like there's not that much in between uh, in the end for where they currently sit. So, Detroit. Look, we will keep an eye on that uh, with where they currently sit, but they're in a fun shape. Of course, the Wiseman trade, the Warriors eventually got basically Gary Payton Jr. for him. So did the Warriors do enough to compete in the West? They're the same, almost same record that they were this time last year, which uh, that ended up. Did, did they do enough? Why for yes and for no? Get those votes in for us in the comment section. It's the pinned comment on today's show. Why for yes and no? For no. From Junior, which is maybe producer Coop's burner account. I am disappointed the Mavs didn't make another move. We should have went after Mo Bamba or Crowder or a Harrison Barnes unit to defend the Suns. I don't know how much you're going to get done in the end. The, the, the yeah. assets just they, they weren't got Kyrie. Really there. They got Kyrie. And you know what? I, I didn't. I didn't think it'd be a good move for them to give up Christian Wood without getting a, another player in return. I agree. I'll put it to you this way: If I had told you. Two weeks ago, you get Kyrie Irving at the line, and that is it. Yeah. I think everyone's feeling pretty good. Yeah. Now, the fact that it was the day before, and you had the whole buildup with no finish, I understand the disappointment there, but I think it was overall good deadline Absolutely. for the, for the, the Mavs. The Mavs are a winner at the deadline. Yeah. From Aldo, is the NBA coming to the end of an era where LeBron and all his 30-something players are close to retirement? Is the NBA going to be more exciting or boring? Hmm. Loaded question there. Will, what do you have? I, I, that's a good question. I mean, obviously, you're going to miss LeBron as yeah. an NBA fan. Uh, I still think he has a couple years left in him. But there's a lot of young talent in the league. I mean, Tatum, Luka, a lot of those guys, John Morant, they're all under 24, 25 right now. So mm -hmm. I think that's uh, I think that's really promising for the league going forward. And there's a lot of – LeBron is one of the greatest ever. There will be a new greatest ever at some point. And who is that, like, you think? Maybe he's not in the league yet. We'll Maybe it's Victor May Robignana. Just oh, throwing it out there. Okay, all right. To, to hype up a guy who has not played in the NBA. Or maybe but it'll be Bronny. The, no, the yeah. last time we hyped up a player at that level, it, LeBron lived up to it, which was in, yeah. which is what makes it so insane. So the NBA will, will be fine in the end. Uh, it's just it's just going to be a little bit different, just like it was after Jordan in between Kobe and LeBron. It'll be it'll be a little bit different. From XX Epic Jet XX, you think the Cavs should be to move to the deadline, or think they're fine? I'm of the mindset, hey, you got Donovan Mitchell. That was your big swing before yeah, the year began. That's true. 
Um, I think they I think they'll be good. Um, I thought I don't know maybe maybe Bojan Bogdanovic would have been a decent move for them, sure. but he didn't get moved. So I, I think the Cavs are are in a decent spot. Timing right now. matters here, but hey, you had come in and you were if I had told you you got Donovan Mitchell before the year began, you would have said awesome. But if I said hey, we can't make any deadline moves, you're like it's fine. Yeah, we got D Mitch. So. Yeah. Timing matters, but I, I like what the, where the Cavs are at there, Will. Why don't you tell us about today's sponsor Absolutely. for I'll the mailbag? Absolutely. i second tell you all about Athletic Greens. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's show. I take AG1 by Athletic Greens literally every day. Get comprehensive and convenient daily nutrition at athleticgreens.com slash chatsports. I give AG1 a try because I wanted better gut health and wanted a supplement that actually tastes great. I take AG1 every morning, and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. I came into this year wanting to get healthier, and starting my year in AG1 has helped me do just that. I take it every morning. I feel happier, healthier, and more energized. Covering my nutritional basis for the day literally couldn't be any easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing each morning. Done. I also like that it costs less than $3 a day. That's pretty good if you ask me. It's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients. Win-win. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Check it out. The link is in the comments and the description of today's video. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. I started AG1 a few weeks ago. I'm already seeing the benefits of it. You will enjoy it as well. Go check them out. That link is in the comments and the description. All right, more mailbag questions. Should the Mavericks go after Russell Westbrook for the uh -huh. second unit? No. I got producer Coop, who's our Mavs expert, going. I, I don't, I don't know if you want Russ and Kyrie and Luca on the same team. Yikes! No. Now Beverly, Reggie Jackson, who apparently will be bought out. Eh, it's a different conversation, I think, in terms of that extra ball handler. Though I would just ride with Jaden Hardy, but I'm, but I'm a crazy person too. So I like me. Hardy a lot. Uh, from Rogue Brothers, do we know if the Clippers put Plumley or Highland in the nine point seven million dollar trade exemption? Um, got to think back here. I think they put Highland in there, okay? Because they sent out Jackson for Plumley. So my guess, and I could be wrong here, so keep that Highland in mind. Highland salary is under nine point seven, so um, yeah, I would assume they use that. So I would assume they put Highland in there. I I'll uh, eventually the numbers and stuff will get evened out, but. Uh, I think they put Highland in there, or at least used part of it. Maybe split it across a little bit there. So uh, keep that in mind. Good good question, Rogue. That stuff always comes out afterward. Christian Mitchell. Think about Westbrook going to Phoenix for backup guard help. Can you Reunite imagine? with KD. Can you imagine? It's fun. I, I feel like the Suns are not going to. No. But it'd be fun. It would be fun. For the memes Chris alone. Paul, Chris Paul has injury issues. He's getting up there, so maybe have some depth behind I, him. I think the Suns would look elsewhere than I, trying I to so, do yeah. the KD. I think the KD Russ stuff. I want to see it because it's funny, but my hopes are not going to get up there. Shazer Streams. I think the Pistons could develop James Wiseman. Thoughts on that deal? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he gels with some of those other centers like uh, Isaiah mm -hmm. Stewart and like Jalen Duran. Those guys have showed a lot of promise. But at the, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. James Wiseman needed a fresh start, and he, he, he needed one badly. So good for him uh, going to Detroit. A, a good young team. Has a lot of young talent. Yeah. Which trade of the two big, sexy blockbusters for the Nets uh, dynasty that never was, which trade was better? Type in D for Kevin Durant or I for Kyrie Irving. Let us know right now in the comment section which trade you thought was better at this year's roughly NBA trade deadline. To Allure, the Warriors the favorites win the championship. Not even close. They're barely cracking the top five right now. That's Curry's going to miss I time. I think top five is generous, too, with Steph Curry yeah. injury. And they're, just, they're defending champs, I know. There's a lot of money on them, to be fair, but they're not the favorites at the Suns right now in the Western Conference. Christopher C., hot take. The Thunder created roster space for the offseason. They will get the first pick to get Victor Webignana. He's either a Thunder or a Spur. I have no doubts about it. I would say he's a Rocket. You you want him on the Rockets. It's not going to happen, though. Uh, I'm an optimist. The the uh, the, the tankathon leaderboard was... as we sit right now. Houston's won. Detroit, San Antonio, Charlotte. Thunder actually kind of further down. But remember, 
they have all of the assets because Presti just hoards them. From Josh Fever, D'Lo is back, baby. I love his fit in L.A. I, that type of player, that guard who can handle the ball, ball when needed and still be in the corner and actually shoot is exactly what you want yeah. alongside LeBron and a defense. Now the defense, sure. it's not pretty. And you lose Pat Pat. But in the words, the Rams said F them picks. F defense. Yeah. Just score. You're fine. Just score. That's what the NBA Just is score. nowadays. All right. When it comes to the Lakers, they're going to be a playoff team. On the they're on the outside looking in. They made that. I think they made that roster better. P for they'll make the playoffs. L for they end up being a lottery team. Get those votes in right now. Shamal, either Russ, Reggie, or Pat Bev going back to the Clips in a bot. Now, uh, Coop, I know you're in more in the nitty gritty. Beverly can't go back to the Clippers, right? You have to wait until after, is it June 1st, July 1st? July 1st, I think is. So can't be, uh, can't be Reggie. Bev or Russ, I think, could, though, uh, in yeah. the end. And I wouldn't be that surprised. There was some interest that the, the, the Clippers wanted Russ. Wouldn't have to move. Could just stay true, in L.A. True. It makes life easier there. So thank you, Sham Allen. Gwendolyn Hill, Gary Payton Jr., returning to the, to the Warriors. Wow. <sighs> they got... Basically a flip for GP2 for Wiseman. Very interesting. Basically straight up. But I think you made a good point earlier with Steph Curry injury. Having some guard depth yeah. is even more important than they get GP2 back. A guy that you know, is obviously very comfortable there. With uh, Curry out, it'll be Jordan Poole, uh, Clay Thompson, and of course, Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah. Gary Payton Jr. as well. If you want more NBA, NFL, and college football coverage, hit that subscribe button today here on YouTube. Free videos every single day, multiple times per day, right here on Chat Sports.